uh, let's all kneel down and pray in one accord. Uh, we ask the Lord to guide our class today. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hey, uh, uh, okay, hold on one sec. Uh, host, uh, can you please make me the co host? Uh, Jessica, or whoever, uh, whoever the host is. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess the host is not here, and I am on my own. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jessica is here. Oh, thank I'm you. I'm not the host, though. Oh, you're a host. I'm not the host. Yeah, oh, you're yeah, a I'm, I'm good now. I'm good now. I'm good now. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, follow the example of other speakers. Uh, I went uh, extra mile to. Uh, make you a PowerPoint slide. Okay, uh, very proud of myself. Uh, all right, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we shall begin our class uh, on the topic of uh, one true God. Uh, so start from today. Uh, from today, we have two sections. And also on Sunday, uh, we have two more sections on this topic. Uh, so we're going to spend about four hours, uh, four classes, to touch upon the, uh, the concept 
uh, our the our basic belief uh, of one true God. Uh, in my personal opinion, uh, four sections, uh, four hours for this class is a bit uh, a bit much for me. Uh, that uh, I have to pick my brain and I have to struggle trying to figure out uh, what to do uh, for four hours to touch upon this topic. Uh, so as a result, uh, as you might uh, aware, as you might be, uh, as, as you might realize that uh, up to this point, that I talk way slower than I usual uh, than I usually do, uh, because uh, uh, I need to figure out a way to survive uh, these four sections on this topic. Okay, that uh, well, the it's for your benefit, all right. I I, I speak slower so that uh, it's easier for you to. Uh, catch up uh, to follow what I say. Okay. So the, here is the idea. Uh, regarding to the concept of one true God, uh, it is very important. Now, don't get me wrong. It is very important. It is the foundation, uh, the foundation of our faith. Uh, so it is not that uh, we don't need to spend too much time about it is in fact, it is a simple and straightforward statement that we believe that there is only one God. End of class, dismiss. Let's have a, uh, that's, uh, now the, that, that would be very, uh, that would be, uh, yeah. So for me to come up with uh, four hours of material uh, talking about the, the 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 fundamental concept of one true God, uh, is not that easy. Uh, at least it's for me. Uh, at least for me, it's not that easy. So this is the idea. Uh, for for four classes. Uh, for four classes, this is what we will do. Number one, we will touch upon the general idea of of theism. Uh, theism is the concept of uh, deity, uh, the concept of God. So number one, we will spend a little time to talk about the general concept of the deity, of the, of the, uh, the general concept of, uh, of theism. Uh, uh, theism is uh, talking about the broad concept about our understanding of God. And then after that, uh, we will uh, go from the general concept into the biblical concept. Okay? Then we will talk about the Bible reference and apologize. We will do a lot of Bible reading verses. Okay? So from there, we will go into all the evidence uh, regarding to the uh, concept or the belief of only one God. Uh, from the uh, Bible quotations. Uh, and number three, and then uh, hopefully by then, uh, we will be in class three on Sunday, I hope. Uh, so in, uh, in class, uh, in the third part, we will talk about why is it important? Why is it important for you to uphold the belief of one true God in order for you to stand firm in your faith. So basically, without the concept of one true God, you cannot, in fact, you cannot be a true Christian. Okay, we will, we will go further. We will, we will elaborate further why I made such a statement. Okay. Why I made such a statement? Uh, we will go further. Say, uh, why, if we do not believe that there is one and only God, how would that affect 
the foundation of our faith. Okay, so we'll go to that. And lastly, lastly, we will spend the remaining time to talk about uh, the conflict that you might run into, uh, especially when you run into people who challenge you with the Trinity, uh, with the concept of Trinity, uh, that uh, we run into this quite often. Uh, people who believe in Trinity challenge your faith, and then you do not know uh, how to respond or how to reply, or even to the point that you are not sure what is the differences between Trinity or Trinitarianism or uh, versus uh, the concept of one true God. We will touch a little bit upon that uh, at the end of the class. Okay, so uh, that's how I plan. Uh, that's how I plan to use uh, the, the four section uh, that, uh, that, uh, we, uh, that we have, okay? So let's go to uh, here. Okay, uh, let's read it together, huh? If, uh, no, you don't need to unmute yourself. Just read it to yourself, okay? So uh, in here it says, the true God was manifest in the flesh as the Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for the remission of our sin and was resurrected on the third day. Jesus is the one and only savior of mankind, the creator of heaven and earth and the only true God, okay? So this is what I copied. Yeah, copy and paste. Okay? So basically I copied and paste uh, from our TJC website. And I hope by reading this, you know where this came from. If you read this and you had no idea and it sounds so unfamiliar to you, I will be worried uh, because this is from the 10 article of faith, the basic belief of TJC. Uh, so if you go to our website and search the article of faith, okay, article of faith is what we believe in TJC. So if you go to the website and you will see exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing. This is the first article of faith out of 10. Okay. Uh, so then here, uh, the 10 article of faith, is the fundamental belief of TJC. And this is what make us or mark us different. This is what make us different from other denominations. Okay, this is the foundation. This is the fundamental belief that we uphold that make us different than any of other Christian denominations. And out of all, out of all 10 of them, the first one is that we believe in one true God. And that one true God is Jesus Christ, who were born and who were crucified and who resurrected and opened a door, a way of salvation. Okay, that's what we believe. So why is this important? In here, the 10 article of faith is like the foundation of a house that if you do not have the foundation built, or if you do not have the foundation built solid, perhaps usually you don't see the differences. You, you don't, you don't, you don't see the differences. But the problem is a house without foundation. When situation comes, when tornado comes, when the hurricane comes, when earthquake comes, when whatever comes, a house with or without foundation makes the major differences, okay? But you know, on the good days, on the good days, you cannot tell the differences. 
Like when you go and buy a house, if you want to buy a house, you don't say to the owner, uh, "Excuse me, uh, can you lift up the house and let me see the foundation? I just want to check if it's you know good and solid." You cannot do that, okay? So you are unable to see the foundation because it's buried underneath. But the problem is, though that you might not be able to see. And on the good days, that is the same. Without without foundation, is all the same. In fact, house built without foundation, it costs way less. Let me tell you, when there's no foundation, the price goes way, 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 way lower. But you cannot tell the differences on the good day. But the problem is when the earthquake came, uh, when the earthquake shake the ground, then. That's when you can tell the differences. So, brothers and sisters, that the ten article of faith begin by one true God who manifests as the Lord Jesus Christ, that open the the、uh, open the uh the 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 gate of heaven, uh the way uh of salvation for you and I. That's the foundation. Ah,、uh, we will touch more. Ah,、uh, we will touch more. Ah,、uh, later. Uh, hopefully uh, on Sunday, uh, why such a foundation is crucial for the survival of our faith. Okay, so let's continue. Now、uh, we want to,、uh, as I said, we want to spend a little time、uh, to talk about the general understanding. Ah,、uh, of the theism, ah,、uh, the view, ah,、uh, the the view of deity, the view of God, in our society today. Okay, so basically, ah,、uh, of course, ah,、uh, I have to, ah,、uh, I have to, ah,、uh, let you know upfront. Okay, I have to, ah,、uh, state it clear that I am not an expert. In scholastic study of religion, I am a church pastor. I study Bible,、uh, but in in terms of the、uh, scholastic research、uh, regarding to、uh, the academic understanding of all this、uh, all these、uh, complicated theories,、uh, no, I am not an expert of it. So I can only provide you. Some of the、uh, basic, a、uh, very basic concept, ah,、uh, just for your reference. Ah,、uh, not an expert in it, but just share with you some of the more common understanding. So basically, in our generation today, ah,、uh, regarding to the view of deity, ah,、uh, uh, the view toward faith or the view toward religion. Ah,、uh, basically is divided by the、uh, three the ah、uh, is ah、uh, ah、uh, occupied by three major category. Ah,、uh, that we have the polytheism, which believe in many many gods, multiple gods, okay, gods or goddess, and we have the monotheism. Mono means one, right? So. Ah,、uh, then we have another ah、uh, major concept ah、uh, view toward religion ah,、uh, which is the ah、uh, monotheism, and then ah、uh, we have also ah、uh, quite common and getting more and more, which is the atheism. Ah,、uh, atheism is ah、uh, that ah、uh, people who. Ah,、uh, do not ah、uh, believe the existence of God. Ah,、uh, or they feel there is no need of God in life. Okay. Ah,、uh, of course. Ah,、uh, they are more than that. They ah,、uh, it's not so. I'm only provide you the most general. Ah,、uh, the most common and general understanding. Ah,、uh, in a very super. Ah,、uh, in the very superficial way. Ah,、uh, only on the surface. So when we talk about ah、uh, polytheism, 
uh, basically in terms of polytheism that people believe in the existence of many deities. Uh, that uh, if you are familiar with uh, Greek mythology, uh, that's some kind of uh, polytheism uh, that in the Mount of Olympus, that they have so many different gods uh, that, that they came out from all the awful ways. Uh, like uh, one day, uh, what was that? Uh, one day, Zeus, the god of gods, uh, the god of thunder, he was having a headache, headache. Uh, so what did he do? Uh, he took an ax and chopped his own head out, uh, all, all open. And then another goddess, is it Athena? Uh, a goddess just poop, popping out uh, from the head of uh, Zeus. You know that when you read about this kind of uh, 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 myth, that's a mystic story. Uh, it just it just make you feel. Come on, enough is enough. Okay, how far you were? Yeah, seriously, they go really far. They go really far of how old the gods and goddesses uh, that came forth. So, when it comes to our uh, polytheism, uh, we find that usually uh, people worship worship uh, creations. Uh, what are the creations? For the example, uh, for example, uh, that they worship the sun, the moon, and the star. Okay. And what else? Uh, people worship the giant trees. Giant trees. I still remember uh, many years ago when I was still in high school. Uh, I went back to Taiwan. On, uh, yeah, I was in high school. I went back to Taiwan. Uh, and one of the church member uh, invite me to go up to the mountain uh, in the southern part of Taiwan, Jiayi, huh? and then they have a uh, the 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 it's just a huge tree uh, that the people call the tree uh, the tree ga the tree ga. Uh, so still remember vividly uh, that we took the bus. We went up to the mountain. We check on the tree, big tree, big tree. Ah, and then uh, we stayed one day on the mountain uh, in the something like Airbnb. Uh. Uh, we stay, we stay in the in the uh, uh, motel for a night. The next morning, as we were having breakfast, uh, the brother showed me the the brother showed me the newspaper uh, provided by the hotel uh, the motel. And the first thing I saw on the front page on the title is the God tree is dead. I was just like, but we were there yesterday. We were just there. So it turned out that the night uh, the, after, we, after we went and saw the tree, uh, then the, on that night, there was a thunderstorm. And somehow uh, that the lightning the, just, I don't know how they decide that, uh, but uh, they say that, yeah, the tree, though that is still there, but the life is not in there anymore. It's dead. Yeah, when the lightning struck on it or something, I have no idea. So I was just reading at the newspaper, like, what? So I guess we were the last visitor to the God tree, and now it's dead. Oh. So yeah, people worship. Uh, people worship those uh, amazing amazing existence as we say sun moonlight uh like stars or or a big trees or big rock uh things that people uh that they feel amazed or uh, then uh they took it uh somehow viewed it as God okay uh and also uh people worship uh mystic figures as we said earlier about the Greek mythology uh, people come up with uh, stories, uh, mythologies. Uh, people come up with a lot of uh, story, uh, like a, uh, uh, just a, a man-made, uh, mental stories. Uh, but then 
uh, it was a passing doubt and it turned into a belief uh, that it turned into a worship. Okay. Um, so uh, like uh, as we say, like the, the mystic figures, uh, like the, 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 in the uh, Greek culture, uh, that they have a lot of those uh, mystic men create story or figures. Okay. Uh, that's the second type. Uh, and the third type, uh, the third type is also quite common uh, that people worship the so-called saints and legends. Okay. So there were many great and mighty people who live a life of legend, a legacy, who leave the legacy behind. Uh, so perhaps at first, people were only in remembering of their good deeds, but somehow as time passed, that they glorified the person. They turned the person from a hero into a, into a God figure, into a God figure. Oh, that you find this very often, very often. For example, uh, that if you look into the Catholic Catholicism, uh, that uh, you find, uh, you find that they, uh, for the for some of their uh, believers, uh, that uh, they will make them the saint, uh, make them into the saints, uh, as they were like the little gods, uh, the little gods. Uh, uh, a few, two years ago, I think it's like two, three years ago, two, three years ago, uh, that one day uh, I, was, uh, uh, I was in a store. I was in the store just to buy something. And I heard, I heard two women chatting it was just a, a very unique. Uh, I was waiting in the line to pay. And I heard that the woman in front of me were chatting with the store clerk. Uh, both of them, uh, are, uh, apparently, uh, both of them were uh, Catholic. Uh, the reason I say that is because they were checking uh, well, the, they were talking about a, 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 a bracelet, a bracelet, and the bracelet was made with many beans, many beans. At first, I didn't pay too much attention to it. I figured, you know, girls talking about bracelet, uh, nothing strange about, nothing unique about it, but it's the, con it's the content of the conversation because they were talking about as they were talking about the beans, and then the clerk, she was flipping the beans and say, you bought the wrong one. I was just like, okay. I mean, a bracelet is a bracelet. How is it the, a wrong one? And then the, the clerk showed the woman, the customer, see, this is the figure of scent so-and-so. And the saint is in charge of, if you lose something, he will find it for you. But that's not what you need. That's not, uh, the, the, that's not what you need right now. Apparently, in their concept, at least in this two, uh, two women's concept, that the customer has a specific need of help. And the clerk was helping her finding the right sense who were in charge of that area. Okay, this scent, especially in charge, if you lose, if you got lost, like you, you like, uh, I mean, the scent uh, work as a GPS. If you got lost, you pray to, to the scent, okay? And if you need a job, this is the scent. You pray to the scent. This scent is in charge of finding a job. If you want a baby boy, okay, you want to be pregnant with a baby boy, this is the one you pray to this saint. This saint is in charge of giving birth to baby boy. Oh, you want a girl? Girl is another one. I was in shock 
because I, you know, that uh, because uh, as I was born and grew up in TJC, I was quite a uh, 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 blank. I was quite a uh, uh, basically. Uh, uh, I have no idea uh, regarding to. Uh, uh, I have very little idea about the actual practice of other denomination. Uh, many of other denominations. So I didn't know that for them, different God serve for different function. Uh, just like how you, uh, when you play Pokemon cards, uh, you have to make sure that you pick the right one. Ah, Pikachu, I choose you. Uh, you have to pick the right one. Uh, you pick the wrong one. Oh no, you are facing a water Pokemon. Uh, then you need to call for no, not Bopper Toad. I only know a few. Charasol is for fire. Bopper Toad is the one with the tree on the back. No? No, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I apologize for not spending enough time playing Pokemon with my son. Huh? But you know what I'm saying is, seriously, when I was standing there, I feel so sorry for the so-called sense. It's like they have those pins of, they have the bracelet of Pokeball. And then they get to pick the one and say, oh, send, uh, send, uh, send titles, I choose you. <laughs> yeah, but that's what people do. Unfortunately, and very sad that people turn the so-called figures, heroes, or important characters, and then they godify the person, they turn them in, into gods. And then they worship them. They worship them. Uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, I believe that you all been in a uh, Chinese restaurant. Okay? So I'm not sure if you ever pay attention uh, that uh, when you visit, uh, when you are uh, in many of the Chinese restaurants uh, that you enter, uh, you will find a small shrine either at the front door or on the side. You will find a small shrine uh, that they that they worship the idol, the, the small shrine. Uh, but you probably because you do not know Chinese history, so you probably uh, the only response that you have is, oh, that's idol. That's it. But for for those who know the Chinese history, if you pay attention to the the so-called God that they have in the shrine you will have a lot of question mark all over your head. Why? Because they worship Guan Gong. Uh, you don't know who he is? Guan Gong is a, a mighty warrior. A mighty warrior in the history of China. One of the strongest, most powerful uh, worry, uh, warrior, uh, like the hero of legend. Uh, one of the most powerful and uh, most uh, well-known uh, mighty men in the history of China. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm okay with uh with that that uh, I'm okay with you admire, you adore, you worship the mighty bit, the mighty men. But why restaurant? Have you ever thought if you are in a restaurant, why would you want to worship? a warrior riding on the horse, killing people, okay? So uh, out of my curiosity, I actually call for the owner of the restaurant. Yeah, I do that, I do that kind of things. So out of my curiosity, I just asked the waiter, can you, uh, is the owner here? Can I speak to the owner? And you know what, the, the owner came out. Uh, at first, the owner thought that something went wrong with the dish. I said, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, it's okay. You don't need to apologize. It's not about the dish. It's just, you know, to, uh, for my curiosity, why? Out of all the people in China history, why? Why Guan Gong? Why? Why a, a mighty warrior? Yeah, because I couldn't figure out. And they say, do you know? According to recording of the history, that the 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 that the Guan Gong, the face was very very red. I was like, I know that, but then how is it associated with the business of a restaurant? He said, 
Red means fire. Red means prosperity. Red means a lot of money, a lot of business. I was so in awe. I was like, my goodness, I never thought about that. That instead of Guan Gong, you should worship the red pant. You know, go to Home Depot, pay three dollar fifty, get a bucket, get a bucket of red pant, and put it there. It's the reddest that you can get. Uh, now the the owner did not appreciate my joke. He was actually not very happy about it. Uh, when I recommend uh for him to buy the red pant from Home Depot. Okay, so you know that this is what people do. People turn other people, historical figure. Into the so-called god or uh, or goddess. Uh, our concept. Uh, I know that for many of uh for many of you uh who know not that much about uh Chinese culture, you might feel that uh Chinese are very into idol worshiping. Um, maybe in the recent decades, but if you really know Chinese history. In the old days, we don't believe in God. We believe in a universal existence of a superpower, but we don't have the so-called God or goddess in the ancient time. So, like uh, for Taoism, there's Taoism was never meant to be a religion. It's a philosophy. Uh, it's a phil phil philosophy school. It was never a religion. In fact, Taoism and Taoist. Ah,、uh, the, the 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 philosophical school of of ah、uh, Taoism and the come ah、uh, the 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 emerge the emerge of the ah、uh, ah、uh, changing it to a religion. It was more than five hundred years apart. Ah,、uh, so back then there was no ah、uh, the 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 Lao Tzu ah、uh, the founder of Taoism were never treated as God. Until hundreds of or hundreds of years later, but as I said, that's what people do. People take the important or whatever the figure from the ancient that the the figure that they admire, figure that they feel so unique and special, and eventually it turn them into, it turn them into deities. Okay. So ah,、uh, that's where ah,、uh, that's what polytheism ah、uh, uh, the the common ah、uh, source of polytheism. Ah,、uh, talking about monotheism. Ah,、uh, basically when we talk about monotheism, with ah、uh, which means is one god. Ah,、uh, that you found mainly mainly in Christianity, in Judaism, and also in Islamic ah、uh, Islam. Ah,、uh, uh, and the thing is. Uh, if you look into the root of all these three religion, basically you can say that they all came from the same source. Okay, you can basically say that they came from the same source. Even in Islam, they call the God Allah. Okay, but if you ah、uh, Ah,、uh, but ah,、uh, if you if you ask, if you check and you dig into it, you do research on it. Ah,、uh, their so-called Allah or the Islamic God. Ah,、uh, if you trace, is also link. Ah,、uh, link back to this God that was ah、uh, uphold in ah、uh, that was believed in Judaism, in Christianity, and Islamic. Ah,、uh, somehow, of course, as I say, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert of it, but I know that even in Islamic, that they might call their god in different name. Ah,、uh, like in ah、uh, ah、uh, Judaism, they call it ah、uh, YHWH. Sometimes we call it Yahweh. Or,、uh, uh, but if you link, it's all referring to this original god that that created the universe. That was ah、uh, the All in all, that was the only. Ah,、uh, so ah,、uh, so we find,、uh, of course, ah,、uh, Christianity. That's even ah,、uh, that ah,、uh, the ah,、uh, the 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 one God that we believe in Christianity, and the one God that Judea ah、uh, Judaism believe, 
is the same. It refer is referring to the same one in the Old Testament in Genesis that the God that create universe. Uh, so even uh, so for you, you are a Christian. So when you talk about, oh, my God create heaven and earth and a Jew, a Judaism believer uh, say to you, no, my God create the universe. And then you, the Christian say, oh, no, 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 no. You got it wrong. My God create universe because Genesis chapter one, verse one. And then the Jew, uh, the, uh, the Jew will say the same. Oh, no, 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 no. Genesis chapter one, of, uh, verse one is our book. Why are you taking our book? Uh, so it's actually referring to the same. Uh, so for Christian, Judaism, and Islam, uh, the three major monotheism belief uh, is associate and connect uh, very much to the same origin. Okay, so that's a monotheism. Uh, atheism uh, is uh, quite common nowadays, uh, especially in our generation, that uh, people believe in the so-called science. Okay, uh, people talk about science. People talk about uh, that uh, they only believe in what they see. Uh, so nowadays, more and more people proudly proudly call themselves uh, atheism, uh, that they do, they do not believe. I think here I gave you a name. Uh, I, the name is uh, Frederick Nietzsche. Uh, my pronunciation is wrong. He's a German, uh, he's from Germany. I actually Google his name and ask Google to pronounce his name for me. I tried five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Couldn't get it right uh, because it's not English. Uh, it's, uh, it's in Germany. So it doesn't matter how I pronounce it. It always wrong and I bite my tongue, okay? So uh, he was a philosopher, a very well-known, a very philosopher uh, from the 19th century, from 19th century. Uh, why did I put his name down? Because he actually marked uh, a significant role in promoting, in promoting uh, the, the people, the modern society to walk away from belief. He wrote a book, I mean, he wrote a lot of books, but I think the most famous one, the most famous one is God is Dead. Uh, that he wrote a book uh, named God is Dead. And it was a very, very common statement used uh, by, the, by, the, uh, by the atheist that God is dead. Uh, but uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, this guy, this philosopher, Frederick, Frederick Nietzsche, he might not be an atheist. I mean, he never openly proclaimed that he did not believe in God. He said that God is dead. Uh, I think, or uh, again, I'm not an expert in it, but I think the concept is not about there is no God. His concept is about that as we enter into 18th century, 19th century industrial revolution, and uh, all the scienti uh, scientific discovery that we single-handedly kill God or kill the concept of God. Uh, he believed, again, I am not an expert. I am only share with you my very limited knowledge uh, regarding to this aspect, and I could be uh, not so correct. But I think because in the middle eight, in the mid century, uh, when the, like uh, when the Catholic control the mind or the whole society, as we know that uh, in the uh, for thou for one thousand years, basically Catholic control the whole European continent. Okay, so the concept of God were forced were forced upon every individual. And as we know the history, in the name of God, they did a lot of evil. 
and they take the Bible away from the commoners. So in the in, in the mid in the, in the mid century, if you own a Bible, you might be burned. They will if they find Bible in your house, then they will drag you out of the house. They will burn. They will burn you alive. Why? They don't want you to have the knowledge. Okay. They do not want you to have the knowledge. They want you to be ignorant. So whatever the uh the the Catholic fathers say, you say, oh okay. Oh, okay. So they they want all the common people to be fooled that they get to enslave the mind and then enslave the life, enslave the body. Okay. So uh uh then until the 19th century, because of the all the uh industrial revolution, all the uh all the scientific breakthrough, all the you know, all those are uh, like uh, like people are breaking away from the bondage of religion uh, that was forced upon them. Uh, so uh, Frederick uh, Nietzsche, uh, I think that his concept is not that God never exists. His concept is now we have signs. So we are burying God. Like we kill, we murder God and we get, we are getting rid of God from our mind and from our life okay so and of course uh many people uh they just took the concept of uh god is dead we are free uh free to do whatever we want uh, that's why you can see from uh 19th century and on you found the uh, a lot of uh movement of uh breaking away from rule and regulation. Uh, they found a lot of movement of free your body and soul. You find, especially in, in, even in United States, especially in United States, you find a lot of movement of indulgence in sexual immorality. Why? Because now God is dead. Uh, break away. We are free. We are the ruler and controller of our life. So uh, uh, that's uh, the, uh, that uh, uh uh, the book of uh, Frederick, uh, well, the, the, the concept, the influential concept of Frederick took an important part in the transition of human history. And uh, other than the three major, uh, polytheism, monotheism, atheism, uh, there is also the so-called agnosticism. This is very small, agnosticism uh, or non-religion. Oh, non-religious. Agnosticism, they are the people who say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if God exists. Oh, okay. Uh, time's up. Uh, okay, the, we will, we will uh, conclude in here and let's all, uh, uh, let's all pray in silence. Amen. Okay, exercise time.